politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, a very good morning. This is uh, The Buzz UG and uh, my name is Mel Milo, aka Fula. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and uh, tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, today is a very special day. It's His Excellency Bobby Wine's birthday. <laughs> Yes, indeed, it is a special day. Uh, Bobby Wine was born in 1982, and uh, his birthday comes two days ahead of Valentine's Day. A brief background about Bobby Wine. Uh, his father was uh, the late Jackson Wellington Sentamu. Uh, he died recently in uh, 2016, and uh, his mother was uh, the late Margaret Nalunguma. She died long time in 1997. Bobby Wine's birthday is almost like a holiday in Uganda. It's celebrated so big time by Ugandans, especially on different social media platforms. And of course, right here on the Buzz UG, I want to say a very happiest birthday to His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, the president of National Unity Platform, the biggest opposition political party in Uganda. Now, relatedly, I want to say congratulations to His Excellency Bobby Wine's son, Solomon Kampala, he scored 13 aggregates in the recent senior four exams. Uh, there were some fake results circulated on social media, but it's now confirmed Solomon did very well. 13 aggregates, that is a great one. Well, congratulations, Solomon Kampala Chagulanyi. Well, meanwhile, according to 100.2 Galaxy FM, uh, Bebeku's son, Sali Alpha Thierry, did score 51 aggregates, that is a third grade. Well, congratulations as well, but uh, I think his football career has affected so big time his education, which is also very okay because, uh, you know, everyone has their life journey. Now, away from uh, the congratulations, uh, recently the Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Anita Monk, directed the Education Committee to investigate schools suspected of encouraging LGBT rights. But while speaking in an interview, Kakwenza's lawyer, Aaron Chiza, the human rights lawyer, said, there is no problem with having same-sex marriage in Uganda as long as it's done by adults. Aaron Chiza also revealed that his client, Kakwenza Rukirabashaija, wants to come back to Uganda, but it's not possible because his torturers are still right here and the human rights situation in Uganda is even getting worse. So it's not possible to come back to Uganda now. He said in an interview with an online publication, Nile Post. Well, there you go. That is uh, the latest update on the Buzz UG this morning. And uh, subscribe in case you haven't, but also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.